major Bantu kingdoms in Africa that existed in the pre-colonial period. Welcome back to our Bantu history series. In case you are new here, make sure you support us by hitting that subscribe button to receive our future videos. Ancient Egypt Kingdom This is one of the earliest Bantu kingdoms in Africa, one of the first human civilizations in history. The kingdom developed in the Nile Valley around 3000 BC. The River Nile was the most important natural resource that promoted agriculture and was responsible for the growth of major cities such as Alexandria, Cairo, Memphis, and Luxor. They have an organized hierarchy government. From the pharaohs, queens, then next government officials, nobles, priests, soldiers, scribes, merchants, artisans, farmers, slaves, and servants in that order. Egypt is also known for its great pyramids, sphinx, and stone monuments and is also responsible for many inventions like writing systems, medicine, and architecture. The Mali Empire. It was the largest kingdom in West Africa from year 12th to 16th century. It developed from the state of Kangaba on the upper Niger River, east of the Futa Jalan, founded by Sundiata Keita, and became renowned for the wealth of its rulers, especially Mansa Musa. Mali was the largest empire in West Africa, widely influencing the culture of the region through the spread of its language, laws, and customs. It heavily relied on gold mining, salt harvesting, and trade among the neighboring West African empires such as Benin, Ghana, Yoruba, Carthage, Egypt, and Europe. Mali Empire began to decline as the Tuareg seized Walata and Timbuktu in the year 1431. By the year 1550, Mali ceased to be important as a political entity. Buganda Kingdom Buganda is a Bantu kingdom within Uganda. Buganda is still the largest of the traditional kingdoms in present-day East Africa. People in the kingdom were and are still known as the Baganda people. Established in the late 14th century along the shores of Lake Victoria, they relied heavily on mining, fishing, agriculture, and trade as a major economic activity, serving most of East Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. Congo Kingdom The Congo Kingdom was one of the largest and most powerful among those in the Central African region. It was established in the early 1500s along the south of the Congo River. The kingdom covered parts of the present-day Democratic Republic of Congo, south of Gabon, the Republic of the Congo, and Angola. They relied heavily on mining, agriculture, and also slave trade. It is a well-known fact the Congo Belt has the largest mineral deposits concentrated in one region in all of Africa. This was the main reason the Berlin Conference took place in 1884, among many others, such as establishing protectorates to solidify European hold and to siphon minerals behind the scenes, even to this day. By 1483, the Portuguese arrived in Congo and established strong ties with the Congo Kingdom. The most notable ruler in the 17th century was Queen Nzinga of the Ambundu kingdoms of Ndongo and Matamba, located in present-day northern Angola. She was a resilient leader who fought against the Portuguese and their expanding slave trade in Central Africa. Zimbabwe Kingdom The Great Zimbabwe was a medieval Shona kingdom established about the 11th century and lasted to the 15th century. It covered larger parts of southern Africa from the Great Zimbabwe and Shona region. This kingdom arose after the collapse of the Kingdom of Mapungubwe. It grew its wealth largely from trading gold and slaves. Its largest ethnic group is the Shona, who make up 80% of the population, followed by the northern Ndebele and other smaller minorities. It is well known for its great Victoria Falls and the Great Walls of Masvingo. The Masvingo Walls are located in Masvingo Province, which is commonly called Great Zimbabwe. The walls are the largest stone structure in pre-colonial Southern Africa. After Great Zimbabwe declined, the Torwa Kingdom arose to the southwest, and the Matapa Empire developed in the north. The Torwa and Matapa rulers continued the gold trade. In the early 1800s, several other kingdoms arose in southern Africa, such as the Swazi, 
Eswatini, Zulu, and Sotho kingdoms. Zulu kingdom became the most powerful among all these, led by the famous Shaka Zulu. That is all we had for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.